Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just wanna remind you to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys once again for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, welcome to Lovely News Networks. So I wanna come on here and talk about this story and it's coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. Yes, Texas, you see it on the map? So anyhow, what's going down is this story is really sad. It happened back in May, but now they're deciding as of this month to charge the father, okay? So what happened is that we have a 26-year-old man. His name is Adrian Middleton, and back on May 20th, he was watching his two children. He had a six-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. He told them that he was just going to run into the store, go grab something, he'd be right back. So as he's in the store shopping, he left the AC on, so at least he did do that. He's in the store shopping. Um, obviously, the little boy starts crying. He starts getting agitated. The little girl gets upset. She's frustrated. She doesn't know what to do. She ends up strangling her little brother with the seatbelt. And she thought that after she strangled him, he had, you know, went back to sleep. He got quiet. Come to find out she actually killed this little boy. So the father ends up coming out the store. Then he sees what happened to the little boy. He runs him to the hospital. The little boy is pronounced dead at the hospital. So they initially thought it was just a freak accident. You know, kids just sometimes do evil shit. But um, now there's been new surveillance video that's come out and it showed that the father was in the store for over an hour and never came out not one time to check on the children. So this entire situation makes no sense. Y'all go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. 26 year old Adrian Middleton turned himself in to Baytown police. Now that charge is actually a Houston police case, but he is from the Baytown area. So he turned himself into Baytown police in the past hour and from there he'll be brought over to Houston to the county jail where he will again face charges of abandoning a child. Now his family says it was all a mistake. Father Adrian Deshaun Middleton faces an abandoning child charge after his one year old son died. Police say it all happened when Middleton was inside this East Houston thrift store shopping, leaving his son and six year old daughter in the car. Investigators say while he was inside, tragedy happened. Middleton's daughter says her little brother was crying. She got angry and wrapped the seatbelt around the one-year-old. She later told police the boy stopped crying and she thought he was asleep. Middleton told investigators he looked out the store window to check on his kids while he was shopping. Surveillance video show, though, he never did. In fact, investigators say Middleton spent approximately one hour and 40 minutes in the store without checking on his children who had been left in the car. Middleton did not return our calls. His brother told us Middleton never meant for that to happen, saying it was an accident. And again, we have also reached out to Middleton's family to ask for further comment. We have not heard back from them. As far as that six-year-old girl, she is currently staying with her grandmother. And according to Houston, police CPS has offered them services if necessary. All right, so you guys just saw that disturbing story, and I can't imagine what the little girl is feeling. I'm sure she's riddled with guilt. This was her little brother. Um, I don't understand why this father couldn't just take both kids with him in the store. It's not like they're both two years old. The one-year-old sits in the basket, and the little girl walks alongside you. What is the problem? I don't understand why these parents continuously leave children in the car. Just because you leave the AC running doesn't mean shit, okay? The AC is not the babysitter. Imagine if you would have really ran in there for about five, 10 minutes, this would not have happened. Even if the little boy was crying, he would have caught it in time, been able to console the little boy, you know, stop the little girl's frustration. But he was gone for an hour and almost 40 minutes, they said. This makes no sense whatsoever. What kind of shopping are you doing? Were you shopping for yourself? Were you shopping for the kids? I mean, hell, does it even matter? Who the hell stays in a store for an hour and 40 minutes when you know you have two minor children by themselves? It's one thing to run in and go, you know, pay for gas. It's another thing to leave them there while you go shopping. You know, so this entire situation is just really tragic and it definitely could have been prevented. I can only imagine what the mother's going through. You have your children's father watch the children as he should because he's the father and then he does something as careless as this and then your daughter is the one who kills your own child. So I can imagine what this entire family's going through. They're saying that the little girl's not in the custody of the grandparents, which I find strange that she's not even in custody of her mother. So this entire situation is just really crazy. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire trifling ass situation. Once again, coming from our second favorite state, 
Trifling ass Texas. All right, deuces. Next game. <laughs>